Hi guys, it's Amazing Purple Girl here with the tale of Lonky Island. This is part 28. My goodness, we're almost at part 30 and I don't think we're near the end yet. <laughs> we are on part 4, so you never know. This game is so difficult though. So uh, we got on Pinky Island, so that's, that's what happened in the last one. We found a naughty parrot who doesn't want crackers, they want something else. We have a still which we have oiled, but I realised I, I wanted the oil for, to remove the rust on the chest. And that's not what I used it for. For some reason my brain went, oh actually go and use it on the still, because it's making funny noises. Yeah, <laughs> but what we need is some sort of measuring device. And let's like say I think that is what's going to get the parrot what they need, what they're asking for. <laughs> I'm not going to say it because it's naughty. It's not something for children, that's for sure. I mean, that looks like rope. Are you sure I can't just cut it? <laughs> it's rusty. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the sharp knife, knife fails to open it. Yeah, not surprising. So, yeah, we threw... I didn't... I thought we were going to use the crackers on the pond to wash them off. No, he threw them, <laughs> lobbed them into that pond for some reason. So what do we do? Let's have a think. Maybe the voodoo cookbook. The great mojo voodoo cookbook. Easy voodoo recipes for easy cooking. You got one for um, parrot preferences? <laughs> Starting with C. <laughs> okay, so it's not that. Let's talk to the head again. That won't help though. We already arrived, man. What else do you want? Nothing, I guess. Oh, can you show me the way to the fortress of El Choco? No, man. I don't have a Scooby where this is. Oh, pity. Yeah, no, he's no use to us now. So, hmm. But if we go into the jungle, we get lost. And what was in the fort? Just cracker. Oh, and this guy. Uh, pick up head and use it with the guy. I cannot reach him. Huh. How about we use... Oh, he's not made of thread, is he? Crowbar? No. Okay. No good. Oh, look, a cannon. I have... You said that before. You're a liar. Don't lie to me. Righteous. So, it's not much of a fault, really. Why is this putrid guy here? Must be able to do something with him. How about... No. Need a ladder. <laughs> Go to pond. I haven't seen anything else that I can interact with apart from the pond. And I interacted with the pond. It's just more jungle. We need directions. Yeah, this is the stone heap. I don't want to put this onto the stone heap. Huh. Anything you do want to put onto the stone heap? How about the head? No. Hmm. Oops, I missed. No. Maybe the stone heap's just for directions once we get them. Mm. 
And that brings me back out on the beach. Yeah. Definitely need directions. It's not good. So what can we do? Hang on, I have a mug. Is the mug a measuring unit? I'm forgetting. Oh, no, it's not. Hello, parrot. Hello, dumbass. See you later. Go away. Your parrot over there is very rude. Little Polly is only that rough when he needs his stuff. How you get back here this fast? Just this minute you were still in the middle of the jungle. You really think I'm that fast? I just used my secret shortcut at last. Ah. Where is this secret shortcut? This is a secret shortcut as I already said. So I won't tell anybody till I'm dead. Do you have another philosophical riddle? With force? Of course. The cat is sitting in a closed box. Say, is the cat dead or just in Fort Knox? Schrodinger's cat, is it? It is neither dead nor alive. It is in a state of superposition. I see you have a burning ambition. I will continue my search. Seek and you shall find. Except you are blind. Great. <laughs> so... Right, tumblers there. Oh, hang on. Pick up the tumbler. Use. No, don't use. Pick up that with the tumbler. Ah. Then use. Yeah, I know. Pick up the tumbler with the still. Now use the spigot. Where is it gone? There. What do we need this for, though? A filled tumbler. Almost grog. Ah! Is that gonna... Oh, I keep trying to do that. pity. This grog seems to be too weak to corrode the rust away. Oh, maybe I have to use the wine or something. Right, this is definitely what I need to be doing though, isn't it? Okay, oh, stupid. Right, so pick up the wine with the tumbler. Pick up... <laughs> I keep trying to do use and it, it just wants me to drink it. Uh, right, so pick up Tumbler still and use spigot. Right, pick up the tumbler. What have we got this time? Oh, it's almost grog again. Mm. It's not going to work, is it?
unless we can use the fire extinguisher with the chest. I cannot lose the rust just by extinguishing it. No, I know, but then you use the um, almost grog. Hmm. No. Hmm. I am on the right lines, definitely. Obviously, blue liquid. Hmm. Because I don't think you could put more than one liquid in the glass. I think it's going to distill too much. Try this. Grog. It was the fix. Excellent. It should work now. There we go. Hey, there was a banana picker inside. Luckily, this is grog resistant. <laughs> of course it is. What do we need that for? Oh, the corpse, maybe? Because I couldn't reach him. He's at the fort, isn't he? Um, need to find the fort now. Well, have I missed my opportunity? Bad me, guys. <laughs> oh, there's an animal there. How sweet. Hmm. It's a critter. Where's the fort gone? Oh, hello. Yeah, okay. Use the phone. Go on. Hello? Hello, who's there? Uh, I'm sorry, you got the wrong number. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, uh, you got the wrong number. <laughs> A dolphin. Oh, where's the fort? <laughs> Did I stumble across it by accident? did I do this? How did I lose the <laughs> Oh, it's a dead end. That's definitely a dead end. There was no exits. Okay. Right, back in you go. Jungle. Fort. Oh, it's there all along. <laughs> Idiot. Right, shall we try this? Use banana picker with guy. I don't want to pick him from the tree. Why not? Oh, he's got a bag. Ah, oh, must be for the bag. I hope. <laughs> Please say yes. Hey! Oh, my Lord. The heck? You have a nice banana picker there. I had lost mine. This one's not fair. This isn't a go a long time. <laughs> so put it back or I accuse you of crime. Sorry. Um, okay. I don't agree with you. Would you be so pleased to go out? Go out? No doubt. This is my kitchen you are in. And I also have no gin. Well, why should I do this in hell? Because you cannot sit cross-legged in this place. You probably can do this better on the beach. I'm happy that you care about my physical condition. 
I also don't like this gravel floor in addition. But please tell me in confidential, why is sitting cross-legged so essential? Because you need it to philosophise. Oh yeah, I really love philosophy. But all we about cross legs, this is also a possibility. Uh, um, okay. He seemed... We need to convince him about that. Because you cannot sit cross-legged in this place. As I said, you probably can do this better on the beach. Yeah, yeah, we've been through this. Please tell me, in confidential, why is sitting cross-legged so essential? Um, maybe he needs his legs crossed to rhyme, but he was, he's standing and rhyming, okay. Because you need it to rhyme. If I would need to rhyme the cross-legged sit, why am I still able to rhyme and not just a bit? Hmm. I bet that you cannot rhyme that good in this place. I bet you lose, but tell me what steak will you choose? If I say a sentence and you don't find a rhyme on it, then you will go back to the beach. All right, this is my speech. Oh, beach, speech, yeah, okay. Okay. Oh my load, there's loads. Uh, well, okay, it's obviously orange, but let's try a few of these. May the force be with you. I hope it is not blue. <laughs> I'm gonna do these. To be or not to be, that is the question. I think you have a depression. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. What I hate most of internet is all the spam. I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. I love to have concrete at my shoes. <laughs> roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. Did he save before it explodes? The rats are leaving the sinking ship. That was a really dangerous trip. <laughs> Dear, Star Wars again. That's two Star Wars references, really. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. Well, I don't have a rope. Right, I'm, I'm done, let's just get on with it. I am an orange. I am an, um, well, I'm an, an, oh dear, this is really sad. I'm not able to rhyme so bad. I better go back to the beach and start to train my speech. He does like beach and speech. I win. Let's get this bag. bag is mine let's see what is inside i have a golden herring and uh, a used syringe and a lot of colored pills uh there is also a madonna figure hmm oh what uh no <laughs> That is not from Monkey Island at all. It's from Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. 
Uh, why do I think these might be what the parrot wants? I wonder what this is. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> Perhaps coloured aspirin. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, Madonna figure. Small figure of Madonna. The Madonna, not Madonna. No, I'm not using. <laughs> God. Look at. Help, it has a very sharp needle. Well, I don't know if we'll need that later. Let's look at that. This is a herring. But at least it's made of gold. Gold. Life is a beach. And then you die. Right. I haven't got too long left. Right. You, parrot. Is this what you're after? I did click give. That's exactly what I clicked, Gracious. What are you talking about? Rock! Polly doesn't want smarties. I thought that was what you needed, Polly. <laughs> uh, okay, use a knife with the pills. I don't want to cut this, really. Pills, whatever, syringe, no. No, maybe it is aspirin. Use. I don't want to take some aspirin now. Hmm. Rock! Polly is no junkie! But what are you asking for, Polly? Seriously? Not a junkie, but you're asking for that. Ugh. Oh, destroyed madonna oh no whoops there were awkward yellow clumps in the figure ah unknown substance strange yellow clumps hmm i found in the madonna figure i wonder what this is i wonder if polly might know Rock! Polly says thank you! Okay. Rock! Polly says thank you! That's it. Uh -huh. I've got a broken finger now. I'm going to go back to the beach so I know where I am. But I think uh, I've spent enough time on Lonky Island. That's right. Pinky Island. <laughs> we left Lonky Island. We're on Pinky Island. So I think I've spent enough time on Pinky Island. And we will work out what the heck we're doing. I don't. I thought Polly was going to be a bit more grateful than just saying thank you. But, you know, that's parrots for you, I expect. But thank you for watching again. And I hope this is still <laughs> entertaining. <laughs> As I say, it's taking my time. This game is very difficult. <laughs> it's way more difficult than Monkey Island 1 and 2. Um, I must play uh, the... Tales, <laughs> Tales of Monkey Island. <laughs> There's a bit of a theme going on. No, I must play that because I've never played it. So um, I might move on to um, 
Tales of Monkey Island after I finish this. Uh, and hopefully it'll be a bit less difficult. <laughs> we're getting there. I'm sure we're getting there. Like I say, part four, which is normally the last part. We're where we need to be. We just need to find this flipping fortress. We will. <laughs> so, do come back if you want to see what happens next. Hopefully something. <laughs> and for now, I will go and say goodbye.